Oh my god, Raywell, I, I have to say this match. Miguel versus Mike Jackson for the exhibition title, please. The following contest set for one fall, introducing first from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, Tilo Wild. I have no words. <laughs> I just cannot wait to see that, but I also cannot wait to see more of the fallout here from Hard to Kill, as we have two of the competitors that were in that number one contenders match for the Knockouts World title. We'll see if either one of them can get back on the right path here in the Impact Zone. We're gonna let you know there's another rock and roll giveaway coming soon. Tune in to Access TV between 8 p.m. Eastern and midnight for your chance to win a VIP experience to welcome to Rockville and Daytona, Florida. Fans include Tool, Slipknot, Avenged Sevenfold, and many more. This giveaway runs until February 7th, so watch Access TV to learn how to enter. You'll join us in Las Vegas at Samstown Casino next month as Impact Wrestling presents the 15th No Surrender event live on Impact Plus, Fight TV, and YouTube for Ultimate Insiders on Friday, February 24th. Then it's two nights of fallout from No Surrender on Saturday the 25th and Sunday the 26th. Tickets are on sale now at impactwrestling.com. Tom in this one, beyond, like I said, this being a bit of a fallout from Hard to Kill, an interesting, I wouldn't even call it a mesh, or excuse me, I wouldn't call it a clash, I call it almost a mesh of very interesting styles and personalities in this one. First time ever match up here in the Knockouts division, and the Knockouts have been busy this evening, to say the least. The six-person tag team matchup, which kicked off the night, we saw the brand new Knockouts World Champion Mickey James pin Tasha Steeles to get the win there. Let's not forget about Masha Slamovich making her presence felt. Same thing with Jordan Grace, Diana Perrazzo getting a victory before the commercial break. And now these two set to tangle. Both trying to bounce back. Getting to the top of that knockout division is on everybody's mind. And oh my oh. god! Whoa! That is one way to start a matchup. As Kelly nearly dumping Taylor Wilde on her head. Taylor those had the wherewithal to get out of the way. And look at these. The, the destructive seductiveness of Killer Kelly, the, the witchy ways of Taylor Wilde. There's, there's a lot in the air in this one, Tom. And the two are smiling throughout this matchup thus far, dishing out punishment as many opportunities as they can get, and they're enjoying it. Wild just trying to control Killer Kelly, who made her return after a few months away at Hard to Kill, competed, of course, in the four-way match to determine the new number one contender to the Knockouts World Championship. That match won by Masha Slamovich. Now that there, Killer oh. Kelly almost had the killer clutch there, locked in on Taylor Wild. Wild had it scouted, and it was, I hate to say it, Killer Kelly almost had that oh. fatal four-way one. Had Deanna Prazer locked in that clutch, but it was Slanovich who delivered the snowplow onto the clutch itself oh. that got the victory. Exactly. So Kelly has to feel like she was within moments of getting that number one contendership. Big forearm shot there by Wild. Oh, and a knee right to the midsection by Kelly. And Kelly continuing to enjoy, enjoy every minute of it. Taylor Wild, though, turning it around, enjoying a little bit of her own. Come on now, Wild with the suplex and holds on. Rolling oh, through. Oh. Into a guillotine here, and it's got great positioning on Killer Kelly. And there is this whole new side of Taylor Wild that we've seen the last several weeks. I mean, it's just been so fascinating to see the intensity turn up. That there's a totally different look behind the eyes of Taylor Wild. This is a changed person here. And oh, what a way to test it against a person like Killer Kelly. Dumped into the top turn by, oh, and a pump kick there by Kelly. There's the cover. Looking for the victory here in the shoulder up in time for Wild. And it's interesting to see Wild deal with Kelly. Kelly known for having an almost voyeuristic obsession with some of her opponents. 
lurking, watching, stalking at all times. But to see the, the new side of Taylor Wilde deal with that, that, oh. is, that is an interesting portrait painted. Shot right to the midsection, Wilde backing up Kelly into the turnbuckle. Oh! Lighting up Keller Kelly. And now Wilde rushes into the corner. Over the top rope, and now Killer Kelly with a forearm blast. Well, that one dropped Wilde all the way to the mat. We know what a talented striker that Killer Kelly is. Now just clubbing blows to the back of Taylor Wilde. He's trying to beat down Taylor Wilde in the middle of the ring, and another shot there by Wilde. This has just been very, very oh. back and forth here. The minute one has an advantage, the other is able to turn it around. Speak it, it shall be so. Extremely physical between Kelly and Wilde. They're yeah. enjoying it. Look, Look at that smile. Oh. Oh. Face to face as Wilde tosses off <laughs> Kelly there, and now starting to build some steam. And now Wilde. Building some momentum here against Killer Kelly. Oh, double knees right to the face. Kelly a little wobbly here, and now taking off her feet. There's the cover by Wild for the victory, and a kick out by Kelly. Don't forget, still to come here on Access TV, Macklin versus 30. Dango, also, we will hear from Tommy Dreamer in regards to the events of Hard to Kill, and especially Bully Ray in his sit-down interview with his co-host from Busted Open Radio, Dave LaGreca, and our main event, a pit fight between Kenny King and Speedball Mike Bailey. Whoa! Wild, wow, looking for almost for a double stops out there. Oh, there's time he gets it! driving Kelly's head right into the hardest part of the ring. Driven down into the apron, now following it up. Sunset flip, shoulders down, here's the cover and a kick out by Kelly. Great sequence there by Wild. Can't believe Kelly kicked out, I quite frankly can either. Showing the resolve, the toughness of Killer Kelly. Oh, a straight shot by Wild, but Again, look at Killer Kelly. Continues to smile like she's asking for it. Oh my God. The twisted smile, wild responding in kind. Both of them loving every second of this very physical contest. Oh, Kelly, Kelly stopping wild. Oh, knee right to the ribs. Oh. and down goes Wild. Just driving headbutts, and now oh. tossing Wild into the turnbuckle. Hard landing for Taylor Wild. And the legs of Wild went into the turnbuckles. Oh! And the hesitation drop kick there in the corner by Killer Kelly. Is it over for Taylor Wild? Into the cover. Kelly trying to put this away into the pin, and a kick out. Kelly, who, who seems intent, but undeterred by the kick out of Taylor Wilde here. And now Killer Kelly trying to set up Wilde here, middle of the ring. Oh, well, there you go, Look, looking for that clutch one more time. Oh, the Wilde ride, shoulders down, a kick out by Kelly. There was a moment of hesitation there. One of the best shots that Wilde's got in her arsenal. Kelly able to kick out. Hey, watch out, roll through here. Shoulders down. Oh, and now Kelly, shoulders down on Wilde, no. Oh, oh. look out, the killer clutch. There it is, locked in, and the tap, that's the tap. Here's your winner, Killer Kelly. Kelly gets the win here on Access TV. But right now, we want to turn our attention to what happened on BTI. It was after the design of taking care of business against Uemur and Delirious that Diener called the design's newest initiate to the ring.